Okay, so this is 1-2, day 3, homework. We are dividing with decimal divisors. The homework was one, 24 to 31. We have one problem on the back, which is problem 37. So let's talk about 24. This is a whole number divisor, so this is a review from day prior. I'm going to do this on a blank piece of paper because I write too big to fit things in. I should label this with the problem number, 24. 6 divided into $54.18. So the first thing that I do is bring the decimal point up, and then I really ignore it from there, and I say to myself how many 6s are in 5, and I want complete sets, and there are 0. So how many 6s are in 54? That's going to be 9 sets of 6. Exactly is zero. I check zero is less than six. How many sixes are in one? How many sixes are in 18? Or how many sixes um, can I take out of 16? I want to take 18 and I want to take out the most. So in the end I need my unit nine dollars and three cents. So I have six sets of nine dollars and three cents are in $54.18. Number 25. Uh, it is asking me to divide 187 and 2 tenths by 8. How many 8s are in 1? How many 8s are in 18? How many 8s are in 27? There are 3. How many 8s? R in 32. So there are 23 whole sets of 8 and 4 tenths of an 8 in 187 and 2 tenths. 26. How many 7s are in 6? How many 7s are in 63? So there's 9 tenths of a 7 in six and three tenths. How many fives are in 137 and five tenths? How many fives are in 37? Well, I just realized I forgot to bring this decimal point up into my quotient. Smaller than 5. How many 5s are in 25? Okay, there are 27 whole 5s and half of a 5 in 137 and 5 tenths. Now we're getting into the newer stuff that we talked about today, which would be 28. We're going to divide by a decimal. So when we're dividing by a decimal, we want a whole number divisor. We want a whole number divisor. So this is not a whole number. So we're going to swoop this baby over once, which is really multiplying by 10. And whatever we do to the divisor, we also have to do to the dividend. We also have to divide that, uh, multiply that by 10. So in the end, what I'm really doing is dividing 64 by 8. And I will tell you that 6 and 4 tenths divided by 8 tenths is equivalent to 64 divided by 8. They will produce the same answer because as you can see, we've multiplied this one by 10 to get to this one. So whatever you do to both of them, it works. How many 8s are in 64? Well, that's a simple one. There's 8 whole sets of 8 and 64. This is my final answer. If you type this into a calculator, you will also get the whole number 8. 29, 6 tenths, 24, 30. I want that to be a whole number. I'll locate my decimal. There are 4 6s in 24. There are 0 6s in 3. And there are five sixes in 30. So there's not even 
a whole six tenths in this number. And if you think about money, 24 cents and 60 cents, we can clearly see that I should be getting an answer that's less than one whole. It's actually less than half of this number. 29, that's 30. This looks like a tough divisor. 29. So I want this to be a whole number. I have to do two swoops to create the whole number. I like to rewrite this. It's just too messy for me when I have all these swoops. Okay, so, boy, how many 723s are, all right, so I might have to go over here. I think it's gonna be around seven, because I'm thinking 700 times seven would be 4,900, and times eight would be too high. So I'm gonna do 723 times seven to check. 14, 16, just close enough. I'm gonna subtract 5,061. Put my decimal point up in the quotient. Bring that baby down. Looks like it's gonna be two times if I'm estimating with my leading digit. And it's evenly divisible. Here's my final answer. Two more, 31. 745 thousandths, nine and 89 thousandths. Oh, that's nice. Now I just have two whole digits to deal with. Uh, there's one here. That was a nine, just a messy one. Directions say to annex zero if needed. So we may have to do that here. It looks like it's gonna be a two. There's two whole sets here in. Let's regroup, nine, 14. That'd be a one. And then I'm gonna annex a zero. Oh, and look, I saw 1490 before, it's two. 12 and two tenths. Last one, I'm gonna turn the page. It is a word problem. It is number 37. You and a friend are paid $38.25 for doing yard work. You worked two and a half hours and your friend worked two hours. You split the money according to the amount of time each of you worked. How much is your share of the money? Explain, so this is a two-step problem. You worked two hours plus two and a half hours, which is four and a half hours of work total between you and your friend. The total you were paid is $38.25. So we're gonna divide that into four and a half equal parts. But that's not gonna be our final answer. This is gonna be how much money we got paid for one hour of work. How many 45s? Mm. 45 times two is gonna be 90, times four will be 180, times eight will be 360. So all I'm doing here is doubling. That looks like it's gonna work here. Oops. Yeah, that's correct. So it's gonna be somewhere in here. So if I add 45, that would give me times five, which is 225. So this is how much we got paid per hour. Now it says, how much money is my share of the money? And I worked two and a half hours. So what this is saying is for four and a half hours of work, I got paid 850 per hour. So one hour, would equal 850. And two, an hour two would now be $17, because I'm adding 850 plus 850. So now 
I worked 2.5 hours. So if one hour is 8.50, a half hour is going to be $4.25. So maybe I should have thought of this as 8.50, and now I can add. So for one full hour, I got paid 8.50. For another full hour, I got paid 8.50. And then for a half hour, I got 4.25. 16, 17, oh, I'm so bad at seven plus four. I'm gonna avoid it. Um, five, 13, 18. That can't be right, is that right? Let me think about that. 16, I think I'm too low. I'm gonna come over here and use another strategy because I'm struggling to add. Eight plus eight is 16. 16 plus four is 20. It should be 21. Yep. Good thing I made that mistake here. $21.25. So for two and a half hours of work, I got paid $21.25. Now I did that through addition and kind of reasoning. You could also take $8.50 and multiply it by that two and a half hours. So this is multiplication of decimals, which we've also done in this section. So I'm gonna ignore my decimal points. I know at the end, I'm gonna swoop it back three times, five, Actually, this isn't a placeholder. I could probably drop it, but a lot of students will keep it, so I will too. 42. 10, 16, 17. I hope I get the same answer. I gotta swoop it back three times. I still get the answer of $21.25 for my share of this work. It's just using multiplication rather than using addition. That's the online answer key.